Hey everyone! Well, the snow is melting and it feels good. I came out the door and I could tell immediately the air temperature is different. We're not in single digits and I heard a red-winged blackbird. The days are getting longer. Spring is on the way. I love winter. I mean, look at these seed heads. They're gorgeous. But I'm also so thrilled for the growing season and all the life and the insects and the plants who just can't wait. So I'm out here today putting down some seed. Check it out. So this is seed that Steve collected last fall. And I'm out here on this windy cold day and I'm scattering it in the snow. And that's called frost seeding. And I usually try to do it before a snow. And we don't have that in the forecast right now. I got a lot of other species done before this snow, but this I'm putting in now and several other species and they will melt into the earth. And so this is an awesome way to easily seed your land. Now, of course, without the snow coming, this is gonna be some very sought after food by birds. So I'm just kind of stomping on it. Wow, look at my technique. My goodness, technical. <laughs> and then some of it's just gonna stay out and not be stomped into the earth and the birds can eat it. And that is awesome for them because, check this, <laughs> the seeds are minimal. So I feel like we're putting some plants back into the earth and we are also offering some sustenance for the birds at a challenging time of year. So that's it. A lot of these need cold, moist stratification, a lot of these seeds. And you can do it in your refrigerator, as I've showed before with some other species, or you can just do it outside. And these I'm putting outside because I did our persimmons inside and pawpaws, and I just felt like doing these outside. I want to be outside, it's easier, and there just seems something, I don't know, almost, I don't want to freak anybody out, but <laughs> deeply spiritual about letting these seeds do their work in the earth and not in the refrigerator. So I know if I was a seed, that would be my preferred method, but I do both. So we're not purists. This just felt right today. And so my last words for you today amongst all this snow is get out there folks i watched two super inspirational restoration videos that i'm gonna link to in the comments or the description uh one in scotland and one in new zealand and it just oh my gosh i felt like my heart was exploding because yes like people are doing this everywhere and it matters it matters such a great 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 deal so whether you have a tenth of an acre or a balcony or a hundred acres, whatever you have, put in the plants that are native to your area. It will be remarkable, <laughs> the life returning. I promise, 10 years into this, and I'm dumbfounded pretty much daily. And I only wish I had started earlier. So today is the day get out there, do it, start the restoration work, put the natives back, get rid of some of those invasives. Don't worry about everything that's non-native. Just look at the invasives and start on those. And then some of those invasives you'll be able to work with. Some of the non-natives you'll be able to work with because they might shade out, which you learn about in some of those videos. <laughs> and the ones that won't, get rid of them. You can do it. You got the power. Okay, everybody. One more look gray headed comb flower oh look at you little babies you are gonna grow into some magnificent plants and i can't wait to see you and all of you friends out there watching our youtube channel thank you for the work you are doing it is so much more than worth it i mean it's really our life 